All right, so we're here at the trade deadline. Looking for the repeat here and looking to see if we can make some moves to improve this team. And I was reading through your guys' comments and uh, a lot of people suggesting that we need to uh, upgrade the secondary scoring a little bit. And people want to see Zetterberg moved up as well. Eh, I could. But also, I think he's locking down that second line pretty good. And we're winning games like this. Eh. So... Holmstrom isn't bad here, and he doesn't have the greatest amount of points, but yeah, I guess we can get the Blake upgrade. Here's the thing, though. I mean, Franzen up there would actually apparently be phenomenal, <laughs> but yeah. Again, here's the thing. If we, if we move Blake, or I mean, if we get someone, then we kind of have to move someone else out. And that's that's the only issue I'm running into is like, who the hell do we move out? Maybe Yuri Hoodler, but I don't know. I kind of really, eh, let's, I mean, I could. It's not like he brings a ton to the table. The fourth line is working, but probably work just as good with like Cleary down there. I'll keep Franzen here, I think. Or he could get moved down. Either way, it's... Doesn't really change much. Blake would get moved down here, and he could, at least if he was with Franz, and let's, let's just see what that would be like. It'd be a plus two still, so it doesn't really, doesn't change a whole heck of a lot. Hmm. So that's the thing. Who the heck, I guess I could move out Yuri Hidler. It wouldn't be the end of the world to move him out. He still has a decent chunk of value. So him, you'd have to pair him with Osgood. And then we hope that Osgood drops the free agency. That's the thing. We need someone, we need him to drop the free agency. So, let's see. I would like a sniper. I guess it doesn't have to be. And, I mean, we'll check, but it's going to be kind of tough. I mean, Tamo Solani, man. He signed for multiple years, but he's kind of cheap at this point. But it's Anaheim. They probably don't want to give him up. I would highly, highly doubt that they are trying. They want to give him up. Joe Sackick, of course. I, well, I mean, there's your thing. We could. Holy crap. 19 points in 32 games played. Not doing so hot. Actually fits well in the first line. Yeah, we could use him on that top line. Do they? Hold on. We got a Joe Sackick. Okay, not... <laughs> they're doing terrible, but they don't want to give up Joe Sackick. Don't worry, I'll come back and GM you at some point, I'm sure. Um, I don't think... Yeah, they don't want Osgood either. They want... The, well, they do want Kling, so... Kling, Osgood. We have to take back some kind of goalie, obviously. Well, there, there's your 83-ish. Uh, Jose Theodore. Veteran kind of guy. They're not going to want to give up Budai. Or, I mean, it's too much value. I, I would take back Jose Theodore. So, Kling Osbuk, Osgood, Sackick, Theodore. That's not going to... Oh, shit. Okay. All right. Apparently, they didn't mind giving him up as much. <laughs> so, now what we do is really, really hope. Why are they invalid? Oh, it's just the lines that are invalid, I guess. Um, yeah, I, guess, I didn't even have to give up Hoodler. So, there's that. Uh, I'm just going to replace him immediately with Sackick. And then we'll, I'll shift some stuff up and down. So I guess Cleary can go down. Franz and Blake. I could move him up onto the top line. Stillman. I mean, the Holmstrom is kind of the goal scorer. We could have two playmakers. Well, alternatively, we could do that. But why the heck do that? Sackick's technically better on the faceoffs. Do I want him on the one time? Guess it doesn't really matter. But I'll put him on the one time. Because well, because Camilleri likes the left wing side anyway. So we'll have Camilleri with Datsuk and Sakic. We could also do something like that. Move Datsuk down, but do you don't do that. Not when Datsuk's producing like he is. Oh, a little bit better chemistry, but the second line actually hurts. This is actually nice. Zetterberg, I mean, he's not going to get too much improved by this. Like, he's already really good. But Stillman, and, this should ben benefit Stillman and Holmstrom. Quite a bit. Now, another thing we're going to need to do. Blake, I don't think, deserves this spot. 
I'll keep Holmstrom because he's goal scoring. Lang's producing well. Stillman's fine. Yeah, I, I would. Say I can. I can replace. You know what? I'll replace Pody. For, I'll, I'll put Blake there. I'll keep him on the power play. We'll keep him there. And I guess Hoodler. Hoodler, I guess, can be my top. Uh, uh b -b -b my top six depth, I guess. And we'll use Philpula as depth everywhere else. And the bottom six, I guess, we could just roll with that. <laughs> Sucks to do to Hoodler, man. But I mean, yeah, we just really, really improved this team. So you got that going for you. It's not going to change. All right. So Cleary, Draper, Williams, fourth line, Blake, Lang, Franzen. Third line, Holmstrom, Zetterberg, Stillman, second line now, and Camilleri, Datsuk, Sakic on the first line. I would say we have absolute. Wait, wait a sec. Didn't it say he had something completely different than make it snappy? Maybe I was looking at someone else. I thought he had, like, oh, I must have been looking at Solani. Shocking out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I must have been looking at Solani. So I think that's pretty good. Now, I didn't really check. Well, oh, yeah, there's not going to be any cap situation. They might. <laughs> they might sign uh, Osgood. The thing is, it's a terrible team. He might not want to sign there. And oftentimes, I don't think teams... I think teams just let people go when they don't want to sign. That's what I'm kind of hoping for. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. We pursue someone else in free agency. But the fact of the matter is, we're just kind of going all in on this. So, yeah. I think that's a really good trade. Freaking Joe Sackick. Take that, Abs. He was on a terrible team, man. We're saving him. We're saving Joe Sackick here. As I said, he can go back there and GM at some later point. He has my permission to do that and build a pretty damn good team. Okay, so speaking of pretty damn good teams, I really like the look of this one now. Our middle six is, is pretty good and balanced, besides obviously Zetterberg being a beast. And defensively still solid. Obviously, we still have Hashik in net. Hopefully, he doesn't get injured. But if he does, we got Jose Theodore, who at 82 could still do fine, right? And even and especially in the playoffs, if he uh, you know turns into a cheese goalie, if... Hasha gets injured. Let's knock on wood and hope that doesn't happen. We don't want that. Okay, so let's finish this season off and get into, get into the playoffs. Pass the trade deadline. And see uh, how we do here. I'm hoping we kind of do well. Okay. Stajana, Kubina, and Pole to Ottawa for maybe a prospect in the third or something. Uh, Topi Pipinen. Let's see. <laughs> it's one of those. No thanks. All right, so we win the first two games after the trade was made. Amazing. We made the team better and we're playing like we're better? That's, that's exceptionally rare here for an EA game. Usually like, whoa, 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 don't make your team better. Now we got to adjust the game because you're too good. Instead of making, you know, AI better, we're just going to do make you sim worse. Uh, Jason Blake now injured mild concussion. That's all right. Uh, that'll be... I'll put Philpiel in there. Because Yuri Hiddler's just been playing. Wow, Philpiel. Yeah, Philpiel gives him a plus five. Okay. Same thing here. All the way across. Come on now. Wait a sec, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's switch this. We want Sakic on the uh in here for sure. And I should oh yeah, I should also check the four and four, because yeah, he will not be there. Alright, this should be fine. Joe Sakic, current line only. And I mean I could remove it, move front. You know what? Instead of Franz, I could put Holmstrom in. Or we could give that back to Blake. Oh, he's injured. Yeah, dur. <laughs> uh, in this one, we'll put... I guess I could put Phil Peeler here. So that he'll replace him. Yeah, let's do that. Um, do I don't want that for the three-on-three? Three? Probably. So let's do that real quick. Just so I could have that set up for when Blake comes back in like two days. Lubd is almost back too. There we are. Another win right there. There's Lebda. And it wasn't as it wasn't a minus three. Yeah, see, this game's so stupid. Anyway, Markov, pretty good. Nine games played. He's a plus three. It's all you can ask of, of a, a third pairing uh, depth guy. I think he's only really played. I think he played in the second pairing or something. Anyway, in his games played, he's been uh, he's been a plus player. He's been on the positive side, so that's good. 
We'll win some games here. Do not need any of these guys. Get out of here. Jason Blake's back. There we are. How's Phil Peel been doing in his depth roll? Nine games played, three points, plus one. Eh, it's all right. It's mostly been in the bottom, though, so it's to be expected. Blake back in. Hopefully, I'm, I'm hoping that Blake playing with... Again? Well, this is very much like the mid-2000s. Keep shoving them in there till they get concussed again. And then pretend in ignorance later. Uh, oh, come on now. <laughs> Can I do the same thing over again? Uh, come on, man. <sighs> oh, yeah, it's just a three-on-three -three that it's all weird with. All right, Philpula. Do better this time. Couple losses in a row. I don't like that. Oh, nice little 1-0 victory. And more losses. Let's not do that anymore. All right, Blake. This time you're fine, right? <laughs> Jesus. Back in you go. Oh, boy. Now Lang is out. And actually, we need it. Well, Philpula does play middle, so. Hey, oh. Keep doing the thing, Philpula. Couple nice wins. I like it. Battling through injury. All right. Okay, a couple losses there. Lang is back just before the playoffs. We like that. Don't get injured again. Thanks. Big shutout victory to end the season. 53-24-5. Let's see who we're going to take on. Looks like we won in the division. We're taking on Minnesota here in the first round of the playoffs. But what seems to be a pretty damn good season for the Detroit Red Wings here. Suki Boy with 79 points. 317-232. I like it. I like it. I can't actually remember if that went up. Power play's still weird and struggling, but penalty kill's amazing. Straight eights. Ten shorties, too, baby. Look at that. All right, let's see how we stacked up to the rest of the league. Offensively, we were tied for fourth, so we're in the top five for offense. Nice. Probably one of the best defensive teams, I bet, I think. Yeah, third, uh, top three. Wow, Calgary. Yeah, Calgary's pretty scary still. But of those three, we did have the best offense, so there is that. But Calgary's very, very good defensively. Power play, yeah, we're bottom half of the, yeah, probably. Penalty kill, uh, number two. So, yeah, we really tightened up defensively. The only team in front of us there is Calgary. We're tied with the Stars and Minnesota's right there as well. Okay, how's Minnesota? What's our opponent looking like? Uh, pretty decent. Uh, yeah, they, get, they got tech, a better power play than we do as well. All right, all right, we'll see how that goes. Lindstrom not going to win the Norris, I don't think. But, hey, uh, Datsuk was 79 points. Zetterberg has 64. Stillman was 60. Camillary, 54. Holmstrom, 52. Lang with 46. Blake only had 42. Did miss some time with injury, but... Sackick, 39 and 53. How do you do with us? Yeah, 20 points in 21 games. I would say that's a much, much, much better pace. Yeah, Joe Sackick belongs, belongs in a red... God damn, how many fucking... Avs fans out there, is this absolutely triggering? Maybe even Detroit fans. <laughs> You're like, the fuck, I don't want to see Sackick in this. But be honest, you would have loved Sackick on your team. All right, Lidstrom. I mean, he could still win the Norris. You never know how things uh, work out there. Everyone was a plus, even the, the backup. Uh, Theodore, how do you do with us? I didn't even play with us. Play, Yeah, he actually did really well with us. He was a backup in Colorado, came here, played seven games, 3 1 and 1, 9 9 3 4 1 7 6. Yeah. I'd say that's just fine of a trade off. And obviously, Hashik was incredible. 9 1 3, 2 2 8, 6 shutouts. Yeah. I would say that's a pretty damn good season for the Detroit Red Wings here. Now, let's see how our guys stacked up to the rest of the league. Marion Hosa led the way in points with 99. Kovalchuk with 96. There's Ovechkin. Only has 36 goals. What the fuck? He only took that many shots. Interesting. Uh, Soleil. Oh, no. Steve Ruchin. What was that? Soleil. Oh, I'm thinking of Ruslan Soleil because of Ruchin and then, and then the S. That's weird. I don't know how my brain did that, but that happened. Jason Spetz with 89 points. Bergeron with 87. Patrick Galliash and some other people. Let's see the goal leader. Uh, it's Kovacic with only 40. <laughs> Assist leader was Ruchin with 67. Uh, probably he's the most... <laughs> uh, yeah, Ruchin's the most clutch, man. One out of three game winners. Uh, power play goal leader was Hosa with 14. Power play point totals 32 for Kovacic. 
Four shorties for Loxon and four for Datsuk. Let's go. Andreas Carlson. Uh, Datsuk had the most shorthanded points tied with Andreas Carlson. All right, let's check out. Eh, Datsuk doesn't have the best face-off percentage this year. Kyle Wellwood, huh? <laughs> oh, Joe Thornton, Pavelski. Oh, baby, how good are you? Oh, that's a little insulting. Only a top six, huh? Man's going to hit 100 points this season in real life. Um, not a ton of great face off percentages. I guess it could go anyway. I'm I, I'm like looking for the high fifties, but it probably doesn't happen in this roster because a lot more people have good face offs and stuff. So, uh, Datsuk still could win it actually. So we'll have to see how that works out. Uh, okay, yeah, and it's gonna go to Niedermeyer, rightfully, rightfully so. Yeah, it'll it'll go to Niedermeyer. It's the plus minus is really gonna boost him up there. Scotty too hotty will be winning that Norris, and it will be well deserved. All right, but here's where we could perhaps win. Um, oh, never mind. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot about the Flames and Mika Kiprasov. <laughs> An absolutely silly, silly stat line. 40-17-5, seven shutouts, 9-2-6, 2-0-5. Had an assist to boot, too. Um, hilariously... Hashik not even up here. But we know he'll do well in the playoffs. Yevgeny Novakov up here. Yeah, baby. All right. Um, yeah, Patrick Kane's a rookie. Oops. 54 points for him, minus 28. <laughs> uh, Crow. Not elite, Crow. You're damn right. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, so that, uh, you know what? I want to see how, I don't think we checked this last time. Hits. Oh, baby, a lot of guys hitting 200. Tough league. Fight, LeCavier with 19 fights, huh? Kevin Bieksa, 45 fights. <laughs> Sean Avery with 39, what the fuck? Nick Boynton with 39. <laughs> it's just because probably everyone fought back then. It's so, so much, though. Holy shit. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, I know there was more fighting back then, but not that much. <laughs> we'll check out the playoff tree now. Nashville and Chicago. Us against Minnesota. Uh, the Sharks and some weird S-looking thing. Who knows if that's even a team. Uh, the Flames and the Ducks. And then in the East, Capitals, Penguins, Devils, Thrashers, <laughs> uh, Sabres, uh, the Leafs, and the Sens, and Florida. All right. So let's see just what the heck we're going up against in Minnesota. What do you got? What do you got for us? Parrish, Demetra, Gabrick, Bouchard, Rolston, Kapanen. Value, Koivu, Radovojevic. Yeah, not bad. It's actually not bad. Good down the middle. Not amazing at any point, but... And then they got, obviously, a very, very solid defensive core. Well, they got Craig Rive, huh? Okay, yeah, it's, that's a solid defensive core. And then oh, they got Vesa Toskala. All right. Shoot it. Shoot it from center ice. It'll go in. Okay. Ooh, and Ponikarovsky's injured. Okay, so, yeah, this is a pretty decent team. I'd say we're much, much better, but you never know what can happen here in the playoffs. I mean, if you look at the direct comparison... I'd say our second line's on par with their first. Even You can even argue maybe our third line is close to theirs. Nah, probably not. But I'd say we have the distinct advantage here, especially on the defensive end of things. And obviously between the pike, pipes, the dominator. And if he does what he did last year in the playoffs, man, we have a very, very good shot to make an impact. But we'll see what happens here. Game one, home ice advantage here against the Minnesota Wild. Let's start off. Game one. Uh-oh, 6-4 to four loss. We didn't keep the puck out on that. That's not good. Game two. Um, excuse me? Okay. That's not good. Sackick's doing well. But what the fuck's going on with everyone else? Three points. All right, that's fine. Two points. First line's doing fine. Nothing for the set. Really nothing for the second line, huh? Okay, I gotta make some moves here. Camilleri can't take face-offs. 
I'm gonna do that. Switch. I'm gonna load up that first line then. If they're gonna carry, I'm gonna make them ultimately carry. Let's do that. Keep everything else the same. Hashik hasn't done great, but I'm not gonna put those losses on him necessarily, especially that second one, obviously. Two to nothing. Bad first game, sure, but we got we gotta score. Okay, on the road, game three. There we go. <laughs> Eight to one victory. That's a nice response. Detroit's pissed. Game four. We gotta even this series back up though. We gotta even this series. Fuck me, what is happening? You guys suck, man. Game don't ah Don't do this. There we go. Big win. We gotta force this game seven. Oh boy. I'm very nervous, but I can't really make like that. I've made the changes, right? They've got to perform. Oh, thank goodness. Whoo, we forced a game seven. Oh, geez, that was exceptionally stressful. Because, <laughs> like, losing that game sucks. Okay, fine, we, we had a rough one. Losing that game, you got to score. That's a winnable game that Dominic Asha gave us a chance. Even that one, he got already. That might have been an empty net or two. Um, that was nice. This is nice. This is like, we, yeah, we needed, uh, this is going to be a big, big game seven though. We'll see what happens here. <sighs> Come on guys. Need to start off on the good foot. Let's go. We're the better team. Let's act like it. Chris Draper, the depth comes up huge early on in the first one, nothing. Oh, Joe Sackick, baby two. No, okay. Um, uh, uh, fuck they tied it i was trying to figure out his goddamn name it's luke and then his brother i forget anyway they fucking tied it datsu comes back and gets it back kind of a bit of a shootout here going on franzen gets another one there's the vessel toscala that people know and love <laughs> four to two in the first period kind of going back and forth i mean we have the advantage but this makes me a bit uncomfortable time to tighten things up here in the second period help out the dominator come on detroit let's go power play can't capitalize. That's all right. Just got to lock it down. Lock it down. Get an insurance marker, but lock it down defensively. That's the biggest That's the biggest thing here. Playing there and as much as possible. This is a much more controlled second. That being said, they bring him back within one, but Camilleri brings it back to a two-goal lead. Toscala cannot stop a beach ball right now. Five to three going into the third period. This should be a win. It's a two-goal lead going into the third period with Dominic freaking Hashik in that. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Take us home. 15 minute mark, baby. Come on. Just go. Oh my God. Stop giving them. F <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> we just want the two goal lead, apparently. And there's Datsuk again. What a crazy game seven. They're probably going to score here. They got to get back to two goal separation, huh? Man, what a wild game that this was. But Detroit will win and advance to the second round. Not a great game for Hashik. Not a great game for the team. But you know what? We win the game. Dotsik with three points, uh, Sackick with two, Lindstrom has three assists. I think I'm going to keep that first line just kind of loaded up. Why the heck not? And uh, we win the series after going down two games to none. And then actually at one point being down three to one too. That's that's massive. That's a big statement series win. But you don't want to have to do that too often. So we got Chicago here in the second round. A Patrick Kane-less Chicago. Probably better for you guys in the long run. I mean, you know. From a, from a morality standpoint and whatnot. Uh, we won cups. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Um, 3 7 one, two, seven, one. It's a good separation, at least. It's a, it's a one differential. I'd like the goals against to decrease. Power play was actually good. And, of course, penalty kill was shit. So, the exact opposite of the regular season. Not great on home ice. Whatever. We gotta, we gotta answer back here in this next round. And be much, much better. Much better overall. So, Datsuk, 12 points. Sackick, Zetterberg was 7. Camilleri, Stillman. Actually, looked like he did pretty good. Decent depth scoring. Yeah. Only one person. Yeah, dude. That's not bad. The scoring really kind of showed up there. Uh, Pody and Chelios were minuses. Hopefully, that improves. But, love to see that from Lindstrom. <laughs> Just taking it home. Yeah. It's not bad. It's still not bad from Hoshik. If I, I would like to, him to increase that to a 9-1-5. And then I'll be much, much more comfortable. Yeah, if you can give me a 915, just consistent numbers to what he did in the regular season, we'll win. I think we could win this cup. I think we position ourselves with the rest of our roster to be able to do that. Yeah, let's see who advanced on. So the Sharks and the Flames, nice. I always liked that. Those are good series back in the day. And us against Chicago, Caps and the Thrashers, and then Ottawa and Buffalo. Oh, look, Leafs lost in the first round. <laughs> oh, boy. 
Let's go. Oh, no, let's not go yet. Let's see what Chicago's got. They're, they were a good team. They were a very good team. Nagy, Hanzus, Havlat, Rutu, Sharp, Verbata. Eh? I'm not that impressed, man. I ain't that impressed. I'm, okay, that's a really solid defensive core, but still. Of course, Happy Bullen back. He hasn't done that. Oh man, this is our chance to. Uh, this is our chance to blow these guys out of the water. Absolutely, I, I would say we've got the distinct advantage here, uh, just for the way that it looks like they're performing and what we can do. So, let's go. We. I think we should absolutely win this series. Yeah, they won in five, but this is our time, baby. Game one, home ice. Yeah, four to three overtime win. It's a, a win's a win, but a little, a little too close for comfort there. Game two. There it is, 4-3 victory. Again, I'd like to see us keep the puck out of the net a bit more, but we continue to score on the road now in the United Center. We do get shut out. That's a big response from Happy Bulin and the Blackhawks. Let's not drop another one. There we go, jeez. These tight one-goal contests, but we have the 3-1 to one series lead. Game 5, this is pivotal. Come on, guys, let's win this. No, we lose. Oh, God, don't let him, don't let him back in. We've been struggling on home ice a bit. Not so much those, I mean, overall. Game six. There we go. We win two to one. And I think I, I think we, we knew this was going to happen. We would have to go through Calgary to make our way back to the cup finals. And this is where it gets a little scary. We've been having trouble keeping the puck out. We know Calgary and Kippersoff could stifle this offense that we've got going. Datsuk is crushing it. But we're going to go up against a hot goaltender and a pretty damn good defensive team. So I'm getting a, it's a little bit troublesome. Yeah, dude. 313, that's cool, but like 285, it's not. Yeah. Power play has been nice. Penalty kill got better. That's good. We're going to need it. But yeah, look what we're going up against. 308, 225. Good power play. Great penalty kill. Big yikes. Big yikes. The Flames are on a roll right now. The Flames are on a roll. But kind of so are we, man. What a pickup Sackick was, huh? Datsuk, Sackick, Zetterberg. That line, yes. Yeah, but we're starting to drop off now. Blake, Lang, Camelay. See, Blake and Lang. Lang's a, these two guys are third liners. It's nice, but the second line needs to score. Where Holmstrom has done fucking... No oh, man. I might have to move Holmstrom off that line. That line is really, really struggling. Lidstrom dropped down quite a bit. And Hasha keeps getting worse. All right, all right. Let's... Uh, I got to make some changes here going up against Calgary. It's just not good enough. It's simply not good enough. Blake, I'll keep this line. Kind of want to keep them together, but in the same vein. Eh. Holmstrom's done jack shit, man. But. Stillman, yeah, this, this line is just not getting the job done. I don't know. I'll try that. We'll, we'll switch fronts and... Ooh, Williams, what the fuck happened to you? Oh, wow. He's not happy with his ice time whatsoever. That's what. Hmm. Plus three still? Could use a bit more scoring from this line, but it'll have to do. I could always replace his ass. Like a filpula. Hoodler's pissed. I could always throw in a filpula. I, might, I think I, I don't know. I feel like we're really going to need it here. Let's see. Does that give us anything? No. But I might do it anyway. Might do it anyway. Yeah, we're going to shift Holmstrom down. He's just not getting it done here in the playoffs. So he's getting third line. Franz going to get bumped up. Yeah, I need more from that second line. I don't know. This isn't really going to help overall wise, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll try it out. We'll try it out here. All right, let's see what Calgary's got. Tange, Lankow, Genla, Amanti, Lombardi, Pruka. Not the greatest. Uh... Wow, what the fuck? Awful. Just absolutely. What the hell? What the hell is this team? They have to have injuries? Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah. All right, who's Salius and Fina for injured? That could be good for us. Kipper's off in weeks. Obviously, Kipper. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, obviously, Kipper doing phenomenal. This is a big chance for us while they have injury. Uh, for us, you know what? I might move move the lines back since they got all those injuries. And hope they can get better. I, I need that plus three, I feel like. 
I know, I know, it might not work, but it's a different matchup here. I I'm just going to do it. I that's what my gut's telling me to do. I'm going to follow my gut here. On the road against Calgary, again, K Kiprasov could just slam the door in our face, but with those injuries, we got to be able to capitalize. Game one. Two to one overtime win. Massive. Absolutely massive. Defensive struggle. We come out on top on the road. Game two. Ugh, three to two win. Yeah. Or loss. Sorry. Win for them. One to one series. At least we won that first game. We got the split. Now we get to go to home ice where mixed results. We got to start defending Joe Lewis. Let's go. Fuck me, dude. Yeah. This is going to be tough. We're going to be struggling to score. I might have to split up the first line just to get more looks. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Yeah, I gotta do it. Zetterberg hasn't get, been getting a ton there, so we're gonna split up the, uh, gonna stop loading up that first line, get some new looks out here. We're down two games to, two games to one. We need this is the, we need this game four. There we go, seven to five victory. We got the scoring in that one, which is good because they also got a lot of goals. Okay, that's big tied series on the road for game five. Yes, a 3-2 to two overtime victory, and we are one win away from it going back to the Stanley Cup Finals. Can we do it here in Game 6 on home ice? Defend your ice, please. Fuck me. Why can't we win on home ice? Jesus criminy. We're really struggling to win on home ice, and now on the road for Game 7. This is Kiprasov versus Hashik. Kiprasov versus Ashik, man. Oh, do I put? Do I load back that first line and hope? Oh, I don't think so. I think I stick with what uh, what we got right now. <sighs> Let's do it. Game seven. Come on, Detroit. Come on, Detroit. Power play. This is what a chance we have early on. Can't capitalize. But Cleary gets a shorty. What a huge, huge moment there for Detroit to get that shorty and get that oh-so-important opening goal here in Game 7. We're on the road to setting the tone in Calgary at the Saddle Dome. And we exit that first period with the lead 1-0. That's massive. Hashik keeps shutting the door. Maybe offense giving some help. Second period. Come on, guys. Yes, power play. Now's the time. Get the special teams going. Can't capitalize. Yeah, Tange ties it up. You felt that coming, man. It's just too close. Too close. Offense needs to step it up. We need another one. Power play. Can you do something here? Holy shit. A long one. Can't score. These opportunities gone by the wayside. Not good. Tied at one going into the third period. 18 shots to 13. A defensive struggle, to say the very least. It's a tight game, but we've got to find that goal. We've got to find it. Come on, guys. Come on, Detroit. Let's go. Let's go. We need that first line. There's something. Oh, Cronwall to step up. He lays someone out. Picks that puck up. Shoots it home. We kill off the penalty. Joe Sackick, baby. Joe Sackick. Big game, Joe. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Hold him off. Come on, Dominator. Keep him. Oh, baby. Lang gets one, and that is the dagger. Calgary. Stunned silence in the Saddle Dome. We'll be heading home, and we are heading back to the Stanley Cup Finals. What a Game 7 right there. As Detroit comes out on top, another three assists in a Game 7 from Lindstrom. What a fucking beast. Hashik with a 9.58-23 save performance, and Cleary had a big, big goal. Love to see it, baby. You absolutely love to see it. On to the Stanley Cup Finals. Who are we, who are we going up against? Who is it going to be? The Capitals! Um, Actually, they won around this time, didn't they? Like, oh. Uh, I can't remember when exactly the Capitals won. 04, 05, I don't know. I know they won sometime in the 2000s. I thought. Or maybe it was someone else and they just admit. I don't remember. Anyway. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We're here. This is us. This is our time. 3.2275. Again, not the greatest. Power play's not doing great. Really slipped. And penalty kill's getting better. That's just how it goes, I guess. Datsuk, though, he's having a great, great postseason. Sakic as well, 21 points. Zetterberg with 18. Stillman, Camilleri with 12. Blake with 11. Nines. Yeah, just not enough, man. Not enough from some of these other guys. But we did our best we could and tried to get more and more scoring throughout the lineup. Who knows, though. Lindstrom with 16 points and a bit better performance there uh, from Hashik. Again, I just, yeah, get me to that 915, dude. I, I I promise you, if you get to that 915, we'll win this cup, baby. We'll absolutely win this cup. But Datsuk is really leading the team right now. 
But this is it. Stanley Cup Finals. This is what it comes down to. This is what we've been, uh, we've been working towards. I was looking for capitals. <laughs> there they are. Ovechkin like Simmons. Their, their center core is absolutely awful. Their center core is off. What the f How is this team here? Probably Ovechkin. Ovechkin and Semin, man. Boyd Gordon. Good. What the hell? This, this, uh, huh? This, this is what's doing it, huh? Wow, they don't even... What the fuck? What? What is this? Only the goalie is doing fine, but how the fuck is this team here? All right, this should be no friggin' issue, right? This should be absolutely no issue. We should walk all over this team. This team should not be here. Let's show them why. Let's. This is our ice. This is our time. Let's go. I don't care if we've been stuck on home ice. Do not lose a fucking game here. Let's go. Oh my fucking... Are you kidding me? 4-2 to two loss. 4-1 to one win. Thanks. Why do we struggle on home ice right now? So weird. 1-1 one one series on the road now. Come on. Do better. What the fuck is happening? Keep the puck out, Hashik. Thank you. Even the series back up. I'm just... We shouldn't lose. Let's go. Game five. This is extremely pivotal for a 3-2 series lead on home ice. We should absolutely stomp these guys. Stop screwing around, guys. Come on. Thank you. Woo. And that sets us up for the cup in the building. On the road. But you know what? We're here. <laughs> Oh boy, that's a bit scary, but we should absolutely dominate these guys in the sim. So, no more excuses, guys. Cup's in the building. Let's do it. Let's take home our second consecutive Stanley Cup. Come on, guys. We're the better team. Let's show them why. Let's show them why. Power play, time to get going. Nope, of course not. And Climber, one nothing for uh, Washington. Franzen gets it right back, 1-1. One -one. Good. Good. It's a quick response right there. Just a few minutes later. Need to see that. Kill that off, please. Big kill. Now we need some more offense here. They have the shot advantage, but the score is tied. 13 shots to 8. Going into the second period. Come on, Detroit. Let's get that offense going. Power play. Thank you, Lang, with the power play goal. We can do something. Oh, my God. Sotheby gets it right back. <laughs> finally come on another one another one i know it's too much to ask for but come on guys special teams oh goodness gracious failing to capitalize on some of these power play opportunities but lebda shot from the point takes that lead back three to two heading into the third period the cup is in the building hashik if there's ever a time to get going i know you haven't been the greatest here in the playoffs at least compared to last year but now is the time to show up now's the time to shut the door third period come on detroit 20 more minutes 20 more minutes of the best hockey you've ever played power play god damn it 15 minute mark come on guys come on guys 10 minute mark shut the door shut the door is this gonna be it can hashik do it it looks like it might be power play and that will do it the detroit red wings have repeated and are your stanley cup champions we have done it once again baby detroit red wings stanley cup champs repeat two in a row joe freaking sackick man what a trade that turned out to be a culmination of some uh, crazy kind of events right there. As the Colorado Avalanche begin to decline, we uh, swoop on Joe Sackick and take him to the cup finals. He, and he wins another one. He wins another one. It wasn't perfect. We couldn't really win on home ice too much. Hashik wasn't the greatest in his, uh, you know, advanced age. But it was, excuse me, good enough. And we were able to get W. Datsuk was amazing. Lidstrom was solid. Zetterberg, no matter where he played, whether on the first line or down on that second, he did his part. And you know what? We got some big depth goals at some big times as well. Lebda stepping up at times. Cleary, Draper. I mean, we got some pretty large goals at pretty big times. And, I mean, that that's what you need. You need everyone to contribute. You need everyone to step up and help the team win. And you're goddamn right. Pavel Datsuk going to win that con Smythe. Had five points in this series in six games. 40 hits, apparently. <laughs> You'll love to see it. Pavel Datsuk 
with that con Smythe, but as everyone knows, the real trophy is yet to be presented, and here it is. The captain, Nick Lidstrom, will be the one to accept it, but everyone will get to put their hands on it. Two years in a row. Most of these guys were here last year. A few new faces. Oh, man. Just amazing. Just what a feeling. We haven't, we have yet to, uh, yet to come up short here. First year, we win the cup. Second year now, we win the cup. Can't we do it three times in a row as we prepare for our new franchise mode with all the member rosters and stuff? I guess we'll have to find out because you're damn right. I'm going to have to go another year and stuff. I'm having a blast with this. For those of you watching, thank you. For those of you interacting, commenting, liking, you guys do so, so much for this channel, and I cannot thank you enough. So thank you guys very much, but... Well, this moment's for all of us. We're enjoying it. The throwback Red Wings, baby. Good to see Zetterberg Dotsig lifting that cup, man. Ah, oh, Give it to Sackick. I want to see Sackick. <laughs> I don't think we're going to see him here. We know, we know he's there. We know he's lifting that cup up. If only, if only, like, EA could make the celebration, like, interactive. You could choose who to hand it to next. I thought, wouldn't that be cool? Like, an interactive celebration. Where, like, you can skate around with it, and then you can, like, you can, like, everyone's in a line. You can, like, skate up, and it'll, like, say their name, and you can, then you can, like, click on them to hand them the cup next. Like, you can, you can have your own pecking order of who gets to hold that cup up, but Dominic Hasek is definitely, definitely deserving as he hoisted it above his head. And there they are. Now, I think this would be 07 08. Stanley Cup champ, Detroit Red Wings, baby. Party time in the Motor City.